What's up guys, it's James here from Smoking UK where we review, communicate and educate all things cigars. Today we're touching on a little bit of a controversial topic and I'm not going to mention names or origins of tobacco for it, but what do I do if my cigar's plugged? Run the intro and we'll find out. Now, if you're brand new to cigars, you're going to hear this saying thrown around a lot. Your cigar is plugged. And what that essentially means is you, you're struggling to draw the smoke into your mouth or you can't draw the smoke into your mouth at all. The tobacco's in your fillet has been packed in so tightly or the when the blender and the roller's been doing it, they've been a little bit careless when they've been placing the tobaccos in a certain area and scrunching it and binding it. And it's become plugged. There's a few things that you can do to rectify this issue. First of all, try and move the tobaccos around yourself. Try and create an air pocket. You can do this by gently pressing it. Remember, you're not trying to break the cigar. You're not trying to crack the wrapper. We're just gonna be gently squeezing the sides up and down the cigar and try and move that tobacco around ever so slightly to try and move that tobacco and we test the draw. Of course, this is a smoking cigar. You're not going to get construction issue because these are amazing. So that's one thing that you can do. Another thing that you can do is find a flat surface, whether it's a table, your thigh, your leg, and simply roll the cigar like this. And again, what you're trying to do is just move the tobaccos around to try and create a bit of an airflow or create an air pocket within the cigar somewhere. And simply just roll it backwards and forwards to try and open it up and of course test the draw again third thing you can do and believe it or not Pete Johnson from Tatawahe Cigars taught me this when we was out there in Nicaragua is on the cap of the cigar here he will gently chew down on the cap of the cigar like this just enough until you hear the crunch you can hear the tobacco moving around remember you're not trying to break the cigar don't bite down like because it's not going to end up great for you. But it'll be an experience you'll remember. And you're essentially, again, creating air pockets. You're moving that tobacco around. You're trying to create that perfect airflow. And of course, test again. This is why I'm a big advocate for dry drawing every single cigar you buy before you even light it up. You're letting yourself know you're going to have some construction issues before you even lit the cigar up. And there's not much you can do after that. Finally is my favorite. And that is getting hold of a draw tool like this. This is Smoking's very own draw tool. There are hundreds of different types. You might have heard the perfect draw tool. You might have heard that name thrown around. And all this essentially is, is a thin, pointy, sharp drill bit, essentially. And what we do is we can either go through the mouth of the cigar, or we can go through the foot end of the cigar. And we simply just place it in and we slowly drill. You don't want to be rushing this because you don't want to be coming out the side you don't want to be damaging the cigar. And you basically drill it all the way through until it comes out the other end. And you've created a hole straight through the center of your cigar. You might have to do this two or three times. I normally, if I've had a plug cigar, I will do this three times and I will do it in an upside down triangle. Two at the top, one at the bottom. And that way you just open it up to get all those flavor profiles into your mouth. I will leave a link in the description below to all of our draw tools because these are absolutely fantastic and I think every single cigar smoker should have one. These are very much one of those kind of products that you don't know what you need until you need it. And everyone thinks they don't. And I'm not gonna point out origins and I'm not gonna point out certain names within the cigar industry and cigar brands. But you know who I'm talking about and what kind of cigar you'll be smoking if you need one. I'm just saying, go get yourself one of these. These are worth every single and that's it guys those are my four tips to you of what to do if you get a plug cigar and what a plug cigar is this is why and i will say it again dry draw and dry test your cigars 
every single time before you even light it up. That way, if there is a problem and you've purchased from us, you can contact us straight away and say yeah, there's an issue and we can give you a hand or we'll see what we can do with our customer services. But that's how you fix a plug cigar. I hope that's helped. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and enable your notifications so you never miss out on any future videos from us. We post every Tuesday with Pipe Tobacco Tuesdays where we review some of the best tobaccos from around the world right here on the channel for you and that posts at seven o'clock. And of course, we have our normal posting every Friday at seven o'clock, whether it's how-tos, cigar reviews, interviews, all the ooze, anything you can imagine to do with the tobacco world, you'll find us here. So make sure you enable notifications so you never miss out. Make sure you go follow us on social media as well. We post every single day on there, whether it's a giveaway, a promo, how-to, industry insights, cigars, pipes, snuffs, roll your own, you name it, we've got it over there and you're going to learn something just from following us. It's as simple as that. So I'll leave a link in the description below. So I've been James. Thank you for coming on this video and welcome to the new era, smoking. See you in future videos.